Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here, and today I am bringing you guys another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video over here onto the Carnage Clan channel. And today guys, what you're gonna be watching is a 151 kill solo gameplay by Carnage Slayers. He's playing, I believe, hardcore domination here on the map Genesis using the silenced NV4. Now this gameplay is very impressive for a couple of reasons. One, it's on Genesis. You guys know this is one of the smallest maps within Infinite Warfare, so getting really high kill gameplays on it isn't the hardest thing to do, but when you're playing in hardcore, it makes it extremely difficult because you do kill people a little bit easier but people also do tend to forget that you can die a lot easier as well so carnage slayers does an amazing job of getting all these kills a very impressive gameplay especially for a solo player so i really hope you guys will enjoy and if you guys do be sure to go ahead and smack a like on it guys that would honestly mean the world to me if we can go ahead and smash 500 likes in this video. That would be absolutely amazing. If we could hit that, I would be really appreciative, and so would Carnage Slayer. Speaking of which, make sure you go and check out his channel. His link will be the first one down there in the description below. Definitely someone you guys want to keep your eyes on here throughout the life cycle of Infinite Warfare. And if you guys enjoy the Carnage Clan videos as a whole, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. You will not want to miss any of the content we'll be posting. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So today what we're going to talk about is something that PewDiePie actually covered in a video, I believe a week or two ago, and it was a really interesting topic that I had some of my own opinions on. And it's something I feel that a lot of YouTubers do in the present day, and it's something that I really think is important for the viewers to keep in mind as well. Basically, PewDiePie made a video talking about forced positivity on YouTube. You guys probably know this if you watch some of my videos, if you watch any of the Carnage Clan videos, or even a lot of the guys in Carnage Clan. What we try to do is when we make videos, we want to try to make sure that we're energetic and always having fun in our commentaries, or in our live gameplays, in our live streams, or just basically anything we're talking about. It really doesn't matter what it is, we always want to try and stay positive. And the reason we want to do that is because it makes it much more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Obviously, if you guys are watching a video where we're depressed, talking in a very monotone way, you guys aren't really going to be interested in that. But if we're always excited, we're always happy, and we always seem really just excited and engaged in what we're talking about, then that's going to make the video much more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Now, the problem with that is, and what PewDiePie brought up, was that he felt like it wasn't genuine. So he used his own personal experience on YouTube as an example of this. He said for about the first two or three years that he did YouTube, he forced the positivity within his commentaries even when he actually wasn't having a good time playing these games so he'd be playing you know some sort of horror game or maybe some sort of indie game that he got off steam and regardless of whether or not he actually enjoyed it he would pretend like he was actually having fun within his videos now he felt that this was a very draining very ingenuine just a really fake way to go about making videos and so he did that for about two or three years and he said that it pretty much worked it pretty much proved that forcing positivity on YouTube is a great way to grow but the only problem with it is like I already said you really aren't being your genuine self. You're sort of faking this persona throughout the video and then people don't really get a chance to know the real you. But my own personal issue with this is, like I already said earlier, if you're depressed all the time, then you're not really gonna get a chance to you know, appreciate the video or have as much enjoyment out of the video as if the person was always excited. So I really feel like the middle ground for this is just to only make videos when you're sort of in a decent mood. You know, Don't make videos when you're seriously depressed, but don't also just force you know, so much outrageous positivity within your YouTube videos. Someone who I can always use an example for this, and I don't know if this is someone who, you know, always fakes, you know, being happy in their commentaries, but I always love to use TBNR for X as an example. He's incredibly fun to watch, in my opinion. If you guys don't know, he started off as a Call of Duty PC player, and now he does Minecraft videos as well underneath the username of Preston Plays. And he's just such an entertaining YouTuber to watch. I really love watching his videos, but when you watch every single one of his commentaries, he always starts off the video laughing, you know, always having a good time. He's usually playing with people as well, and that's what it gives this whole uplifting spirit to his videos. But you can't help but wonder, is that fake? Does he fake that happiness in his videos just to make his viewers more happy so people keep coming back to watch his content. I personally feel that no, he doesn't do that. You watch a lot of his videos, he seems like a pretty genuinely happy guy. And you can get a lot of that same vibe from his Twitter as well. Just the way he talks about things, the way he expresses himself, he just seems like a really genuine guy. But obviously, that's up for discussion. I'd love to know what you guys think down there in the comment section below. So just to wrap all of this up, in my own personal opinion, I would say from my own personal experience that forcing positivity on YouTube is a very draining thing. I can tell you guys firsthand that when I would try to, you know, always exaggerate my voice, try to make things always interesting for you guys, while I do believe that that is a really key important aspect of YouTube and making content for the YouTube platform, I do see it as an incredibly draining characteristic to put inside your videos, a very draining quality because it's really tiring to make a video, act like you're always happy all the time, and then stop the recording and just be like, man, this sucks, I'm really not having that much fun. But when it comes to making videos that are genuine, when you're really sharing your true opinion, I feel like you can, you know, 
not only gain respect from your viewers, but also make the video much more relatable and much more genuine, much more true to you. So that's just my own personal opinion though. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section below. If you guys think that it's okay for YouTubers to force this positivity in all of their videos, if that makes it acceptable for then kids who are gonna go and watch their videos and say, wow, these YouTubers are always happy or always having a good time. Is that okay for me to believe that even if I know deep down that maybe they're not having the best time or should they fake that positivity just so I can go and be happy while I'm watching their videos? I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know down there in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, thank you guys all so very much for watching this video. I really hope you all did enjoy. And if you guys did, be sure to go ahead and smack a like on it. Like I said, 500 likes is going to be our like goal here for today. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.